Welcome to Five at Five. This is Music Monday. I don't know who my guest is. We thought that could be a nice twist. And I'm very excited. I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, I do remember everyone I worked with. Oh, probably I have never worked with the person. Huh. Oh, now I don't know who it is. Anna! Yes. You look absolutely Hello, my dear. Gorgeous. <laughs> you look refreshed. Stunning. <laughs> Let's get. I'm, I'm a very professional music journalist right now, and I will go back to this role. When and how did we actually meet? In a gasometer in Vienna, the concert yeah. of a German band called Revolver Held. Yeah. That's like. Where we first briefly met, but then a few weeks, months later, we kind of started with the YouTube videos. But I was singing that evening, wasn't I? Yeah, I did the duet. Yeah, that's true. And that's also the first uh, night I met André and basically meeting him while he was kind of, you know, filming you for the, f for the feed <laughs> backstage and then on the stage. And That was the first time when you met André too? Ooh, yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. So yeah, we worked together and, and we did, we did champagne kisses, champagne kisses, one of my most favorite songs in the entire planet and <laughs> you and I, we, we covered it, but I think that Andre, he heard about you before. I mean, I think, I definitely know that there was, that he introduced me to you um, when he showed me a video of your, your beatboxing. Exactly. Yeah. Because he was also interested in looping. What is looping, actually? Why don't you explain it to everybody who does not know what we're talking about? Well, if you're live recording a certain musical phrase and then some machinery repeats it over and over and then you build up uh, tracks on it, you can produce a song live while, yeah. yeah. And that's Which, the, the idea of when you're sick of all your uh, uh, bandmates and you want to play alone, then... <laughs> 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 But you have to be very talented to do that. <laughs> yeah, well. Darling, do we share outstanding memories? Yes. A few, a few, so I that's would a say. Yes. Okay, next question. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there are like a few popping in my head. I'll say Bubble Bath, Gran Canaria. <laughs> that was definitely great uh, actually the whole uh, pride all the prides basically that we yeah did all of them were yes you you <clears throat> produced and arranged um like a, a dj live set for for my tom album which for me was you know one of the biggest changes in my career so far. We arranged it in a way so that we too can be on whatever stage in this universe. What was the challenge to bring this specific music to the stage? You know, you have an awesome band and um, it, it, you know, it can't really compete musically with that. Yeah. So I guess for us, um, it was like, how do we keep the tension high and the energy high with only two people on stage? I, I guess it is limited in terms of length, yeah. but uh, for what we did, I think it was really nice with a lot of help also from Andre, who, who, who helped a lot with the visuals. For me, it's also very important that you have this personal connection. If you, if you can choose, why not choose to work with people who you also like? Definitely. And I think it's also, it's also like, a decision you make just in general where your energy no. goes probably go back to the outstanding memories just one more time because yeah. um um for me i did the uh, amadeus music awards like two years ago for the first time when we did the intro together and that was your f it was your first big tv how did that feel for you too? Because Andre is very good at, you know what, Edo, we have this thing going on and uh, it would be so beautiful if you would do it and you, you hardly have said yes and then he already came around the corner with his concept, a flip chart presentation with all of the things you now have to do, thank you. And <laughs> Love it. How was that? How was that's, that how you, that's how you get things done. But how was that for you? Because I, I assume it, it is a big thing. I mean, it's national television. But... Uh, first, you know, you have these different stages of 
happiness that you can make it, you know, over fear, over like stress, over complete apocalypse in your head <laughs> so I had all these stages I was so I'm so glad that I, that you gave me the chance to do that because it was yeah it was just a lot of fun and, and now it's a great reference for me we're still working together but you know as everybody knows things have suddenly changed so mm -hmm. we can't really you know I'm very excited about our recent projects and also like um, about the things we will do in the future Oh. Because I think that we're just in the beginning, especially with the live set. Definitely. There's definitely more to come. I, I also saw in the comments that the people liked it. And also, I think they liked the intro for the Amadeus. At least Of I, course they did. Yeah, that was what? nice. What? What? Oh, what? Oh, what? what a question. What a question. <laughs> it, was, it was so well done and I enjoyed myself so much. Of course, how can we get Eurovision Tel Aviv? Oh yeah, that was great last year. Phew, crazy. Like it, we had two shows on, on one day, I think even, right? And like yeah. one at night and one later at the night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the show, and then also the, the stuff that you did in, uh, like on cam inside. Yeah, 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 the hallelujah, where I decided to show up as a stripper. Um, yeah, and, and, and I mean, we've seen Madonna. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> We were there, <laughs> but yes, I'm talking about concerts. You're doing live set quite frequently. Right now I have a project called Elektromeyer. Um, it's two acoustic guitars doing instrumental electronic music. So, um, there's this program in Vienna called Urban Stars where uh, artists play uh, at the subway. And um, that's, that's what we do a lot, not now, but eventually. And then, yeah, we'll just try to have uh, concerts looking for EP release, you know, the, the normal stuff. What do you think, what do you think about the, the, the near future um, when it comes to live performing? It's funny that you say, because I've been thinking about that, like maybe there are new concepts. Hey, maybe instead of doing one concert for a thousand people a day, you know, you do like seven concerts in a row for 120 people. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. so everybody, I'm sorry, we have to now go and, and figure out the concept. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, thank you so much again for your time. I love you so much. See you soon, my dear. See you soon, babe. <laughs> thank you so much, Edo. Bye. <laughs> so, bye. That's it for today's Music Monday. I love this surprise guests. Did you enjoy that? Was it thrilling for you as well? <laughs> Just leave a comment. That's it for now. Pussy, pussy, pussy.